Hey folks, how you guys doing? Hope you all had a great morning so far or are having a great morning right now or your day is going to be awesome. I hope all the hope all of the above is correct. Anyway, a um, couple things going on. I've got a very busy schedule this week. Um, I'm going to go visit a friend of mine, also a fellow woodworker, and make some, a lot of really cool stuff, has made a lot of really cool stuff. Hopefully I can do a little quick little shop tour video of it. I know everyone loves uh, shop tours and, and seeing other people's workspaces. I know I sure do, so hopefully I can get some footage of his shop. Uh, just another two car garage um, into woodworking, but does it differently. Well, as far as layout goes and all that stuff. So like I said, it's, it's always fun looking at other people's shops, especially when they're the same size and you can see what works and what doesn't work for individual people. Individual people. Uh, also, um, Instagram. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram and are following me on one of the other social media networks, I pretty much don't update any social media networks other than Instagram. It's just it's just so easy and it's fun. Just quick little pictures here and there. You don't have to scroll through all of the nonsense that's on Facebook. Nobody even checks Google Plus. I don't think hardly. Just a few people do Google Plus. That was like a failed social media thing. And then um, Twitter. Twitter's the other one, but I barely do anything on Twitter. Twitter's fun if you just want to interact with a certain individual quickly. Um, that's what I find most interesting about Twitter, but for just social media interaction globally, it's not really that much fun. So, uh, check out my Instagram page for a lot of uh, pictures through the weeks as far as what I'm building and, and all that stuff. There's a lot of stuff that I post on there that doesn't make it to any other place, and you can see updates on projects. So, there's my little sales pitch for Instagram. Also, I've got t-shirts on my website. If you click on the store button at the top, you can get one of these t-shirts. Finally got that taken care of. Um, they've been on my website for about a week now. I just haven't really announced it to anybody. And um, they're pretty nice quality. I like them. They're Gildan brand. And if you don't want to buy a t-shirt, then that's totally cool as well. Uh, details on the cabinet. The um, dartboard cabinet. Let's take a little walk really quick. The dartboard cabinet is actually one of those projects that... Ah! Just ran into the tail voice in me bum. That hurt. Okay, so... The dartboard cabinet ended up being one of those projects that uh, me and my wife actually use quite a bit. I didn't think we'd use this that often, but here playing around here in the shop, uh, about once a night, me and my wife come out here and shoot darts. So uh, it's a lot of fun to actually just have this little thing. And it's it's cheap, long-term fun. So most of the time, you know, you go out to the movies or you go see or you go do this and it costs money and you go do this and it costs money. Me and my wife like things that are one-time purchases. So darts I made the cabinet it's all done it's purchase or all the expense is already done and it's continuing fun uh, we play sorry the board game sorry we play sorry while we eat just about every night for the past shoot five years now so cheap entertainment but anyway this this whole cabinet is super simple and easy turned out great and oh, there it is yeah um, the the dart holders I didn't go into detail on these hardly at all these are just Rectangles. That's literally all it is. It's a rectangle of sapili and the grain facing up and down and two screws Two holes drilled right here for screws to attach it to the board and then three holes in the top Oh, it's a rectangle of sapili with five holes. That's all there is to it. As you can see uh, We've already got one dart casualty um, That didn't stick to the board bounced out and broke the little end thingy Technical terms here the end thingy. I know someone's gonna correct me here Whatever these are, broke off, but these are just cheap darts. This is just a cheap dart set that the darts came with, dartboard set that the darts came with. And the, as you can see, the clipboard's not here because I've been using the clipboard for other stuff. So uh, I thought that I would use this a lot for scorekeeping, but ending, uh, what ended up being the case is we never use it. My wife's got a uh, dartboard scorekeeping app on her iPad and we use it to keep score, you know. 2016 it's the digital age no one wants to take time to write stuff down uh, but yeah we haven't used it and I think I'm just gonna make a little chalkboard somewhere and as you can see I got a couple signatures in here uh, anyone who comes and visits my shop I want to start uh, making a, like a signature collage I guess anyone who comes and visits the shop gets to sign it and wherever we're at at that point and go to the outside whatever but yeah I got three signatures on here so far from people visiting and hopefully this will be awesome and fully cover it up with signatures like the sticker cabinet is. I've had a lot of caffeine this morning apparently because I just rambled through all that. Oh, the uh, 
little latch here is just a screw and it works just fine. So this whole sticker thing, the sticker craze is just like still mind boggling to me that people are still so interested in stickers, which I am too, it's pretty cool. Um, but anyway, uh, a lot of people want to do the uh, send one, get one sticker swap kind of thing. So if you are interested in that, leave a comment somewhere and use like the hashtag, anywhere that hashtags can be searched, but use the hashtag stickers, sticker swap and that way you can more easily be found to switch and change stickers and all that stuff. I frequently get asked of any, if I know of any other people who are sw um, doing the sticker swap thing. So if you are interested in swapping stickers with other people, use the hashtag sticker swap or something. That way it'll be a little bit easier to find. Speaking of stickers, I've got a bunch of new stickers to put up on the small cabinet as well as a bunch of duplicate stickers from the large cabinet which is completely full of stickers to put up on the smaller sticker cabinet, the smaller rolling sticker cabinet thingy. So let's get those stickers put up. That's all I got for you guys this week. I'll talk to you in a couple days with a tool talk video and see you then. So I just started editing this and I forgot to mention two things. So really quick, number one, we uh, released another podcast episode this past Friday. So I think we're going to do every two weeks on Friday. Kind of seems like our release schedule, the woodworkingpodcast.com. Check that out for the next episode. And also the second thing is that the first week of April is going to be the Atlanta Woodworking Show. The Woodworking Show in Atlanta and the Video Woodworkers booth is going to be there. I'm going to be part of the booth. There's going to be like 20 or so content creators that are going to be a part of the booth. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be there three days. It's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday event. Go to thewoodworkingshows.com and search for the Atlanta Show. It's in Atlanta in April. And also, uh, while we're going to be there... I think, don't quote me on this, but I think I'll have more information as I find out. Saturday night, we're going to have a um, get-together somewhere out in the town, have dinner. Hopefully, a lot of people can show up, and we'll just have fun after the show. So, that's it. Now, let's get to the stickers. <laughs>